I really just tried. Like I, I was already recording, but when I was about to be like, "Yo, what's good, everybody?" How everybody? I hit the fuck out of my elbow again. Like the the desk right here is shit, man. Um, look, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another Nukes Top Five. I had to. You already know I had to. Um, how's y'all day going? Good, cool, mine too. On too. Thank y'all for asking. Y'all look so good today. I just wanna. It was about to get graphic, but I'm a. I'm a just. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a rock out for now. But I'm um, hope y'all having a great day. Thank y'all for all the love and support. Y'all just. Y'all just mean the world to me. You know. Um. But let's let's start the video. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Let's let's get straight to it. Just sit. Just get sit back. And, what you eating? Kind of snacks you got let me in there let me see what you <clears throat> a father says that he was busy working in his office one day when his son came running in and seemed very upset the boy claimed that quote a man was moving things in the other room the dad follows the boy into the living room to find things scattered all across the floor so he checks his security cam to see just what happened. What he finds chills him to his core. That's not a Roomba. <laughs> These young boys fighting back. I would have been the fuck about it there. toy in a dog bed can be seen sliding across the living room floor all by themselves. The seemingly annoyed little boy rushes over to the objects and even starts <clears throat> picking up the dog bed and throwing it back to the floor in frustration. The dog bed then aggressively slides back towards him, knocking him over. But luckily, the little boy lands right on the soft bed. So just what was the boy seeing when he told his dad that, quote, a man was moving things? Could some dark presence be haunting their home? You decide. Glitches in the Matrix. TikTok user Eddie is parked in front of a Boston pizza restaurant in Fresno, California, when he spots something very weird. Okay, where is this car that's reflecting on this Boston pizza window? It's a Corvette C8. Mm hmm. I knew that. I seriously don't see that car anywhere. Where's that car? What? Where? Where is that car? Hello? Where's that car? Did you drop? What the fuck where was that? Car? What was that sitting in that chair? In who, the reflection who was of that? the restaurant window, Eddie sees an orange Corvette C8. But when he looks around the parking lot, it's not there. In disbelief, Eddie posts his video to TikTok, wondering if he might have caught a quote glitch in the Matrix. Did he drive around the a lot? Footage to goes see? viral, receiving over 2.8 million views. In the comments, viewers repeatedly ask Eddie to go back and film the location one more time. Okay, we are back at the same parking lot because one of the many comments you guys were saying is, "Go walk up to it. Uh, the car is either inside of." the pizza parlor or it's a wrap on the window i don't know let's check it out it would just be coming up with anything right for now. if you look at it actually from this point of view it's a corvette in the pizza parlor accurate. 
there's a it's place, there's a light color reflecting, that's right here. And no, there's like no car in there. This time the shop window accurately reflects what's right in front of it. The orange Corvette is no longer there. Cut to another video of a supposed, quote, glitch in the matrix. Late one night in Nashville, Tennessee, a woman's friends tell her to quickly grab her camera and hurry outside to check out some very bizarre activity going on in the night sky. Moon discharge. <laughs> Sorry, that sound crazy. What kind of phone you got? Hey. friends watch in shock as the moon seems to change hmm. colors from green to red and then suddenly seems to just discharge some kind of electricity spectators to the shocking event believe that they witnessed everything from a possible government cover-up aliens and of course maybe even a glitch in the matrix but whether it's a glitch aliens or maybe just a really good fake i leave that up to you to decide followed home. Back in 2015, Candace Gardner and her husband attended a Halloween party at an abandoned and allegedly haunted prison with a dark history. It was a huge mistake. Candace says that the entire night at the party, she felt like something was watching her. And ever since that night, strange things have been happening in Candace's home. She now believes that a malicious entity might have followed her home from the old prison a dark spirit that intends to harm her and her family. Soon after the prison trip, Candace begins to experience unexplained activity in her home. Lights flicker on and off at night while Candace and her husband sleep. Doors in the house open and close on their own. But scariest of all, the spirit begins to aggressively throw objects at Candace. Once you start throwing shit at me, then it's war. And these fright. Real quick, I had the same shit. I mean, it didn't. Nothing was thrown at me, but it was thrown super close. My best friend was there. She seen everything, right? We was right. We was near the kitchen, right? We was near the kitchen is a butter knife in the joint, in the dish rack, right? It was, the dish rack is like a little cup thing. It got a little cup attachment to it. So the butter knife was in the thing like this, right? We walking past and I turn my head for a split second to look in the living room. All you hear is, the, I can't make no damn butter knife sound, but the shit flew at the refrigerator and just hit the floor. I'm like, we both just staring at each other like, we just seen the same shit, right? Just, 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 just make it sure. Just make it sure. So yeah, we don't know. I was just like, hey, you, that's what happened when you come around me. Some shit finna happen. My homie Desmond, he he know too. He was there. I told y'all that story one of these days. But incidents continue to escalate as it seems that the entity wants to seriously hurt Candace. Oh, bro, like right in front of you? That's crazy. Oh, that's a knife. Okay. How do you explain that if you actually got injured? Like, and you show them the video and everything? How do you explain that? While Candace is sleeping, she starts to wake up to painful, violent attacks, as if some unseen force is roughly grabbing or pulling at her. And she says she caught proof. So late one night, Candace and her husband fall asleep while watching TV on the couch. As the couple sleeps, a CCTV camera in the room captures something absolutely horrifying.
Freaky ass ghost. What? <laughs> you got her positioned like a family guy character when they fall. <laughs> I should fold her ass up, bro. <laughs> Candace's leg appears to get grabbed and twisted <laughs> painfully into the air by an invisible force. Yo. She wakes up in a panic and screams for her husband to nah, help that's crazy, her. though. But all he can do is grab her leg and pull it back. Eventually, he manages to free Candace's legs from whatever is pulling on it. But poor Candace is left sobbing in pain and fear. Now, I have to say that after watching this footage and hearing Candace's desperate pleas for help, this video is very compelling. But do you believe that a dark entity followed Candace home from the prison and is now violently haunting her home? Let me know what you think. As for Candace, she says that her family still experiences terrifying paranormal events to this day. We need scary videos, so if you've seen one or you have one, send it our way at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Hell or high water. Back in August 2021, an unexpected flash flood swept through downtown Omaha, Nebraska. At around 10 p.m., Tony Liu and his two friends are relaxing what? in his apartment and watching the weather reports about the flood. Oh. They decide to take the elevator down to have a look at the flooded city streets for themselves. It was a very bad idea. Let me see your best moose impressions. I remember seeing this video. Okay, thank you. Tony and his friends didn't realize, but the lower levels of the apartment building were completely flooded with disgusting sewer water. As the elevator reaches the lobby, water pours inside, causing the elevator to malfunction and trap them inside with the rising water. Once it got towards kind of my neck, chest, that's when I kind of, okay, like, I could possibly die in here. The water continues to flood in, filling the elevator to the point that the three friends can barely keep their head above water. Tony is panicked and makes an emergency phone call to his roommate, Dalen Stapp and the roommate hurries downstairs to try to help his trapped friends. I told him, hey, uh, I'm, I'm gonna die in here if you guys don't come and try to do something. We went down into about shoulder deep water and just tried pulling it apart with everything we could. We had to get him out or it could have been fatal. Yeah, I would have threw up. Dalen finally manages to pry open the flooded elevator doors to free his friends from what could have been their watery grave. Throwing up right in the Luckily, water. Luckily, they all escape and swim to safety without so much as a scratch. Not surprisingly, Tony Liu says that this was the scariest thing that has ever happened to him. How scary was this? Honestly, I would say this is number one, the most scariest thing in my life, yep. Hands down. Okay, can you please Okay, thank you. Shoot. Watson. The Rainbow Fountain and Grill in Carrollton, Texas was built back in 1924, and before it became the popular local soda shop that it is today, it was home to a pharmacy and a medical office. One of the doctors who frequently worked out of the building was Dr. Robert Blackburn, who was famously known for bringing his cute little dog Watson along with him everywhere, even to patients' <laughs> houses. It is said that Dr. Blackburn's loyal little dog Watson still haunts the building to this day. Over the years, workers and customers at the cafe claim to have had strange, unexplained experiences with the ghost of Watson the dog, saying that they could actually feel the spirit of the little dog jump right up on their legs. Since the restaurant added security cameras, they have started to capture some of these strange encounters on video. Take a look. Hmm? 
Interesting. Shout out my nigga Watson. CCTV footage shows employees and visitors getting nipped at the ankles or even scratched by something that they can't see. Now with so many people experiencing the exact same phenomena, and with all of it caught on camera, it makes you wonder whether the spirit of little Watson the dog is still hanging around the old soda shop. Well, Watson used to bite the patrons, but perhaps only trying to find new friends to play with. In a flash, <laughs> Sometimes a very silly moment turns scary in an instant. Two guys are just goofing around, but then, like a bolt out of the blue, fun time is over. A sudden, very close lightning strike rips through the clouds and scares the living Yo. out of them, sending them running inside in terror. Black people do not play. <laughs> he didn't see it. Axel Yo. Rosa frequently explores caves and tunnels in the woods of Colomos, Mexico. After no. finding what seems like evidence of witchcraft in one of those caves, no. Axel believes that some dark entity attached itself to him and now follows him wherever he goes. Oh, damn. One day, in the strangest place, a public restroom, Axel starts to hear bizarre sounds. He takes out his phone and hits record, and what happens next is like something right out of a nightmare. No, I think you're going to see it. I'm going to see it in the university. The only thing right is that I'm... If you only see this one, this one was in the last video. video. Watch the video. Stop looking at me and what I'm doing. Love you. <coughs> I still can't get over that shirt, yeah. That shit crazy. hears a strange slamming sound from one of the bathroom stalls even though he knows there's no one else in the restroom but did you see it a face can be seen peeking through the small crack in the bathroom stall door Hell but no. when axel looks over the top there's no one there axel is completely unaware of the disturbing face he just captured in fact he doesn't even notice until he posts his video online then the comments come flooding in People tell Axel, uh, hey, there was a face looking out. But Axel says he didn't see it. I would have threw up looking at my footage, Hello, bro. doggy. It's a little before six in the morning when a Reddit user's dog who's home alone experiences something very creepy. The camera captures the sound of an unexplained voice whispering, Hello, which seems to send the dog right into a panic. The owner says that absolutely no one other than the dog was home at the time of this recording. He also says that he's never experienced anything like this in his house. 
and he wonders if he captured something paranormal. But what do you think this voice is? No collector. Mirror, mirror. No. The guy named Edgar Virgen from Colima, Mexico says that his four-year-old niece was given a very strange old toy. A pink mirror that lights up, plays music, and features a pre-recorded voice that says cute little phrases. Not as straight out the mm, conjuring. Nothing too odd there. Mm -mm. But over the next few weeks, Edgar starts to notice his niece talking to the mirror daily. And some of the toy's responses are eerily intelligent, almost as if it can hear and respond mm -hmm. to the little girl. Edgar and the girl's mom decide to ask some questions themselves. What happens next is truly disturbing. says that its name is Jesse, and it gives oddly specific answers to the mother's questions. Mm -hmm. Well, Edgar and the girl's mom are a little freaked out. They remove the batteries from the toy and store it in the barn behind the house. Years pass, and the family forgets all about the toy, until oh, they damn. start to hear a strange little voice <laughs> coming from the barn in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. Edgar says that the voice sounded just like the mirror toy, and was saying things like, come play with me followed by a sinister little giggle. <laughs> he posted his video and story to TikTok, and things got even weirder. Because you see, some viewers commented that they had the exact same mirror toy, but they said that their mirror didn't talk at all. Viewers urged Edgar to make one more video with the strange toy. Mm. He's reluctant, but eventually he searches out the mirror in the family's barn, and this happens. Para los que me estuvieron pidiendo que buscara el espejo y le pusiera baterías, aquí está. Solo pude encontrar estas piezas y pues sí, le puse unas baterías que tenía aquí en la casa. Como ven, son nuevas. La neta no creo que prenda, pero bueno, vamos a calarle. Miedo. Hola. Hola, encantado de conocerte. Gracias, amigo. igual. Me da gusto. <risa> Eres muy divertido. ¿Tienes una fiesta? Mm, no, no tengo fiesta. ¿Tú tienes? No sé. Cuando me levanté, te vi a ti. Ah, vas a chingar a tu madre. That bitch got a camera in there or something. Oh, hell no. He's just done with the mirror. He says he threw it out with the trash. So could a paranormal entity be attached to this toy? Let me know what you think. Monkeying around. An antique collector says he stores all of his collectibles in a local storage unit. But lately, things have gotten a little strange. He says that he started to get odd complaints from the staff at the storage facility. They said that they heard bizarre loud noises coming from inside his storage unit at all hours of the day and night. The antique collector is very confused at what the noises could be and sets up a security camera inside the unit to see what could be going on. When he reviews the footage the next day, he is shocked. <laughs> no, I ain't playing that shit. My man Snow. An old antique mobile Ew. that he recently Ew. purchased inexplicably sits up and just moves nah, around bro. on its own. Then it drops right back down 
Hell motionless. No. After witnessing this creepy incident, the antique collector says that he believes that the old doll might be cursed or have a paranormal entity attached to it. So is this footage real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Like that bitch on fire. As always, you decide. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Hey, thanks guys. Uh I'll see y'all next time in the next video. So uh roll the outro again. It's finna be my outro until she pissed me off. So I mean, stay blessed, stay beautiful. Y'all are gorgeous. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Better go play with myself. Uh I'm out of here. Peace.